Yeah, pretty crazy to think. Uh, November 2017, the last time I came out of this tunnel was for an international rugby match. 74,500 people uh, played against the All Blacks here, but now the World Rugby Union Principality Stadium have got together to create an incredible field hospital to treat patients in this current pandemic. Um, it's amazing to think a venue like this can be turned into a hospital and uh, the amount of people who are working hard behind the scenes is mightily impressive. So Jamie, tell us who you were before and why this stadium was relevant to you and, and what capacity you're here now in. Uh, so I was an international rugby player here in Wales for, for 10 years. Um, so I used to play at this stadium, uh, Six Nations and in November. Um, you know, in front of 74,500 people. You know, this place really is the, the cathedral of international rugby here in Wales. Um, and it was a special place as a rugby pl player. But I guess sport takes a bit of a back seat uh, when, when something like this happens, a public health crisis, uh, the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, people are losing lives um, in the UK and, and in Wales. And, you know, to have the Welsh Rugby Union and Principality Stadium team up, along with the Cardiff and, uh, Cardiff and Vale Health Board, to create a field hospital here is is incredible. Um, you know the log logistics alone are, uh, are pretty scary. So um, you know if I've I've come along on board with the NHS as a uh, honorary clinical innovation fellow, just you know having graduated from Cardiff University in 2013 uh, with a medical degree, I haven't done any clinical work, but um, you know I'm keen to to volunteer. Now I'm back in Wales um, as an extra pair of hands, extra mind, uh, and help out with the NHS in any way I can. So, you know, it's important that people, if they if they do have a certain skill set, uh, that they they volunteer as well, because you know this is a this is a there is a team solution to this, and the team comprises of surgeons to ward staff to nurses to cooks to porters and to the general public. The general public are playing their role by staying in their homes and following government advice. And I urge people in the general public to, to put their hands forward and, and help out with this operation. And did you ever think that maybe your two, your two careers would ever combine or mix at all? Um, did you ever think that, you know, is that a bit of a reflection of how all of this is coming together, everyone working together? Um, yeah, look, I'm, I'm, I'm just keen to help out in whatever department I can. You know, it's, uh, I think if I'm... There are people out there volunteering with, with no medical background and I, I just have a medical degree, I've never worked clinically and so it's only right that I, that I put my hand forward to, to help out. Um, and yeah, it's, it's you know, I, I was thinking of working for the NHS after I retired uh, and hopefully upskilling as a, as a junior doctor and doing my foundation years. But you know, what for me the, the link between uh, just the team effort, like I've been around the offices this morning up on Mysocode Road um, and also around the stadium here today and been around the UHW as well and to see the different groups, different departments all working together as a team because as a rugby player that's hugely important as, as what we do, you know we all have to sing off the same hymn, hymn sheet when we play together as a side but this, this crisis, uh, to tackle this crisis is going to take a huge team effort and I've mentioned just some of the people involved with it. It's it's everyone. I guess this is Wales's biggest team. And so emotionally for you, with both hats on, how does it feel to be stood right here? And can you even imagine it, how it might end up? Um, to be stood here, yeah, it does feel a bit eerie and a bit strange, but I hope all the hard work here um, is wasted in some respect, uh, if that makes sense. It's um, There's going to be a lot of effort here to plan, to cope with a likely surge in demand but the effort people are making to stay at home and follow the government guidelines we hope we don't have to use this facility as much as what is planned for if that makes sense so um yeah look and, and the planning the work that goes into that planning is is incredible um you know i've just spent a day today going around as i said and seeing the effort people are putting in um it's it's unbelievable and you know the effort to put this together in such a short space of time is, is superhuman really you know, for me, the NHS is one of the greatest, greatest things ever invented. The night in Bevan, uh, I think it was 1953, am I right? <laughs> um, just such a special thing to have free healthcare at the, at the point of contact. Um, yes, we, we cover that, that cost through our tax, as a taxpayer, but 
isn't it incredible through you know whether you're, you're end of your life or you're being brought into this world that you can have her free health care at the point of contact with the NHS is unbelievable um, and yeah I guess things do take a back seat uh, especially professional sports during a crisis such as this look this is an unprecedented time for everyone um, and there's no real model to tell us what is the right thing to do everyone's kind of you know, going along with, with World Health Organization advice. And um, yeah, it's just amazing to see the respect people have for health professionals. Um, and it's important because nothing is more important than people's health. You know, I think people, this, this current pandemic has put that into perspective. And, you know, that, that Thursday 8 p.m. clapping uh, that everyone is doing is, is unbelievable. You know, I have, I have a huge amount of respect for all those um, healthcare workers, and it's not just the doctors in the hospital, this is coming back to my point, um, just seeing the work that goes on behind the scenes today, I was never aware of that, you know, even as a medical student, I've, I've never worked clinically, but the amount of work that goes behind the scenes um, to ensure that the staff can do their job to the best of their ability to keep patients um, alive uh, is pretty special, and you know, we have to, during these times, pay them you know, commend those people and take our hats off to them because they're, they're doing, making a pretty special effort.